Cambridge Dictionary defines gender differently according to a spokesperson for Cambridge Dictionary. The dictionary definition was created last October in terms of how the word woman is used in society. The definition of man is also created in the same way. The Cambridge University Dictionary has attempted to change the traditional meaning of the words man and woman. The Cambridge University Dictionary has attempted to change the traditional meaning of the words man and woman. Dictionary definitions of male and female have always been based on gender. Later the definition of transgender was added. This time the Cambridge Dictionary added another dimension to that definition. In addition to birth gender identity, transgender and transgender identities are also included. According to media sources, this change took place last October. There are also earlier traditional definitions. According to the newly added definition, the new definition of man in the dictionary is, one who identifies himself as a man. In other words, it doesn't matter what gender he was born in this case. Similarly, the new definition of woman is the person who identifies herself as a woman. Simply put, transgender and transgender men and women are also included in this definition of transgender. There are also relevant examples where it is clear that gender identity is not dependent only on sex symbols. A spokesperson for Cambridge Dictionaries said the editors created the dictionary definition last October after extensive research into how the word woman is used in society. The definition of man is also created in the same way. Whether or not it is appropriate to define male or female identity based only on gender is a long-standing debate. Many, including trans and transgender people, claim that a person's gender identity can differ from their birth sex. This is because this identity largely depends on what gender a person considers themselves to be. As a result, one may identify as a woman even if born as a man. Gender equality activists have repeatedly questioned the age-old tendency to make gender and sexuality complementary. It can be said that this step of the Cambridge Dictionary made the path of that movement a little easier.